Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. This is Lao with Kenshan Crafts. Um, and today I am going to just uh, go over um, the pens and inks that I have inked up back in January and just discuss my thoughts on them as well as giving them a you know rank or uh, grading them on a scale of 1 to 10 in three categories. Um, these categories are kind of similar to the ones that I've seen, um, you know, being done out there. And I think they were very, uh, helpful when I watched, um, like, uh, Karina Loves to Plan, Carrots and Olives, I think it was also Simone, um, and, you know, I, I'm sure there's a few others out there who, uh, does something similar to this. Um, and so the three categories that I will be grading my pens on are the comfort of the pen, um, when writing the color and the flow so I want to say that I want to try to be as objective as I can um, but some of these will have some subjective uh, opinions as well because it is my own experience um, and it may not be the same experience for everyone else um, but like I said I you know and uh, I would try to uh, be as objective as I can so that you can have a general feel for how it might feel so like some general rules for comfort is how it feels uh, when I write with it if I uh, if my hands can write for a lot longer if it doesn't cramp sooner so um, for now my comfort has been graded based on my quadrupod grip um, and I feel like in the future when I start to write better with the tripod grip, the comfort might change for each pen. <clears throat> um, and then color, um, I uh, graded color mostly where if it's legible, um, if it's a color that I like, obviously that part is more subjective, um, you know, and it uh, appeals to me. Uh, if the color, um, you, know, you know, like I said earlier, if it's legible, it's easy to read, um, it uh, doesn't bleed or it doesn't uh, smear as much um, so those kind of factors go into the color and then flow is just um, you know very objective if it comes out of the pen um, easily without much pressure um, if it sometimes I um, I typically will grade very dry inks on the lower end only because it's uh, very hard um, to get the ink on paper um, and it also kind of um, makes the experience of writing a lot worse in my opinion um, when an ink takes a while to lay down on paper uh, if it's a really high shading ink and you just get these very illegible parts and then very very little part of your your letters are visible or uh, legible um, where the ink pools and that I will grade a lot lower because if I can't read what I wrote then there's no point without further ado uh, well I'll transition to the uh, other part of the video that I had already um, uh, taped or that I had already recorded for you guys so let's go so from January my first pen was the Lamy All-Star Tourmaline with the Emerald de Chavour. Um, I graded that uh, on comfort a 7 um, and the color was an 8 and the flow was a 10. Because this was a 1.1 um, millimeter stub it definitely was a lot more um, wetter of a flow. Uh, a lot more ink was able to you know just flow out of the pen and so it was really easy to write with um, the comfort I gave it a seven just because the Lamy's they t they have that tripod grip and I don't have a tripod grip <laughs> um, I tend to like hold my pens um, like I think you know like like this um, and I know like everyone has a different way of holding their pens uh, I think this is the tripod grip where you just use three fingers like your thumb your forefinger and your middle finger for rest and this this is the the supposedly the correct way to write with a fountain pen and I do see why it is 
better in most cases. There's less stress on your hands when you write with those three fingers to support uh, the pen to write on the paper. And I have tried that a few times and I do like that. It's just I'm not used to it. So I will have to probably like write a lot in the tripod grip to really um, get used to it because it, it definitely is, a, you know, like the, the feel and the comfort is better in, in general. Um, but I'm still very used to four fingers to write. So uh, with that, I gave it a seven. For my Pilot Vanishing Point uh, in a fine uh, nib, and that had the Pilot Jurogen color, which is a purple. Um, and also, I um, since I kind of cleaned out some of the inks in here, I decided to just use one pen to jot down all my notes. But for next month, I will probably, or most likely, use the actual color in pen to write um, my notes in the in this journal. Uh, so the Pilot Vanishing Point, I gave the Comfort an 8. Um, I don't mind the clip. It, the clip actually helps me to like position my fingers. Um, the color, I gave it an 8. It's nice, it's legible, but I'm not really a purple kind of ink person. Um, I haven't found a purple that I really love yet except for, um, I, I tend to like lavenders, but those are light. So um, I gave that color an eight, but it's really a really good color. I gave the flow a seven because um, even though it's a pilot ink and it's super wet, pilot vanishing point nibs are super dry, um, but also that means they dry fast. Um, and so sometimes when I write really fast, the feed can't catch up with the speed of my writing. And so sometimes I get skips when I'm writing, especially super fast or like I'm flourishing. So the vanishing point is definitely not the pen for that unless you have a medium or broad. Um, but even then I had a stub and it still had some ink flow issues. So I would call, I would grade the uh, vanishing point a seven for the flow. Um, and then the next pen, my next pen was the Twisby Eco White Rose Gold. I paired that with Ferris Wheel Press Blushing Mushroom. The I gave the Comfort a nine. Um, it was it's a very comfortable pen to write with. Um, the color is an eight, only because it's it was too light to see, and the shimmer also made it. Uh, was, shimmers just tend to have some weird qualities to them when you, you know, keep them in your paper or your journals, um, the, the particles tend to like go all over the place. Um, some inks don't do that, but most shimmer inks kind of do that from what I experienced. So for that, I gave it an eight. The flow was great. Um, for this Twisby, it came out of the pen just fine. No hard starts at all. Next pen is my Platinum Kanazawa uh, Medium with um, Kobe Ink Aotani Cascade Green. I gave the color and flow a 10, a lovely green, shade of green. Um, and it's a super wet ink, so it came out of that nib effortlessly. Uh, the Comfort, I gave it an eight because this pen, although it's my most beautiful, um, you know, uh, Japanese brand pen, um, it's very thin and slim. So I was not used to these fountain pens being so thick. So I, you know, at first I was used to the thinner pens, like my, you know, like this one, the Platinum Kanazawa. It's almost as thin as like this micro, micron um, pen. And so, and my hands are kind of small too. And so it, it's, it's okay. I'm used to it and I'm okay with it. Um, but as I started writing with more and more, um, bigger and you know girthier fountain pens i definitely found that they were more comfortable in my hands than a smaller um a, a thinner pen um and so i gave that an eight um just because it definitely caused a little bit of cramping again that most likely is due to the way i write um and so i will have to definitely uh work on changing the way I write with fountain pens to make it so that the comfort level of writing with every single pen will be better with time. Um, the next pen is my Benu Talisman Edelweiss 
gorgeous, beautiful Benu pen. Um, I, I bought it in abroad, and so I didn't really write with it that much. It's a very broad nib, and so it doesn't really match my writing style. The comfort of that pen, I gave an eight. Um, it is nice and girthy, but the shape of it is also a little different, um, as it's not as smooth um, in terms of uh, the, the the handle or the, the grip section is smooth, but the pen itself has uh, lots of facets that aren't, that just feels a little different to me, um, though it doesn't really ruin the experience at all. So I gave the comfort an eight. The flow is a 10 because it's a broad nib and it's very juicy. Um, so uh, the ink flows out of it really well. Let's see, the next pen is my Pilot E95S and I had that inked with Sailor um, Shikiori Yodaki. I gave this color a 10 because it's a beautiful, beautiful color. Uh, the flow is also really nice. Um, this Pilot E95S has a moderately good flow. Um, and then for comfort, I gave it a five because this pen is on the thin side, but it's also extremely light. Um, if you don't post it, it's uh, lighter, but not as light because the cap is super, super light. And um, with this pen, you most definitely, you know, should post it and when you post it 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 you know it's like a regular pen's length but there's not much in the body and then the cap itself is also like there's no weight <laughs> in it at all uh, so to me when i write with it it feels like i have to put more pressure into um writing and again that's just a uh, personal experience and personal handwriting but um it it is much too light of a pen to uh, write comfortably with for me. Um, so I won't be using that one again for a little while. The next one is my Sailor Pro Gear Slim Autumn Moon. Um, and that was paired with Pilot Hiroshizuku Yuyake. The color and flow, I gave it a 10. You know, it's a Pilot ink, it's wonderful. And Sailor Pro Gear Slims are actually very smooth, even though they have a lot of feedback and so it just flowed out of the pen so well and even though it was a medium fine it's super super fine tip the yuyake ink was able to shade throughout um mainly because it's on tomoe river paper on regular copy paper there was no shading seen <laughs> whatsoever um so i gave those two uh Categories of 10, but the comfort I give it an 8 because it is a Progress Slim. It's a bit smaller, and so my hand does cramp up a little bit. Um, and there's that. The Progress uh, Sailor Progress Imperial Black uh, is the next pen that um, I just used Black Sailor's Black Cartridge. The color is a 10, you know, just because it's black. There's really nothing um, too special about it, but like it, it does its job. The flow is also a 10. Um, and I gave the comfort a nine just because it's a pro gear model. It is bigger, so it feels a little better, um, and more comfortable in the hand. Uh, and for some reason, Sailor inks just, <laughs> they, they just do so well in Sailor pens. Um, even if it's not the wettest ink, it just does well in there. So it's ex extremely wet in this pen, uh, the Sailor cartridge with Sailor pen. The next one is my Platinum Century um, Medium, and I paired that with Kobe Jade Green. Um, this Jade Green is uh, its a Japanese brand ink. It's a super expensive ink, but this Jade ink flowed really well. The color is just amazing, uh, and I gave the comfort a nine because it's a it's a it's a it's got a nice weight to it, um, and it's also a girthier pen so it feels comfortable to write with uh, and then my pro gear sailor pro gear uh, slim spring rain my favorite <laughs> sailor pen uh, i paired that with morning star from colorverse it was it's a really great pen and color uh, combo um so i gave the comfort a nine i know i bumped that up compared to the autumn moon maybe that's a little biased <laughs> um I give the color a 10 because it is a, 
a really beautiful um, teal ink leaning on the blue side. Um, and then the flow I gave an eight because it's not a sailor ink, the flow felt a little drier. Um, even though this is supposedly a very wet ink. Um, and the nibs for sailors again are super dry. So it became a very, it's a, a dry combo, but it wasn't like dry and scratchy. So um, I gave that flow an eight for that one. Okay, the last three pens. Um, these ones are probably the best ones uh, in terms of just overall scores, but my Leonardo Memento Parizo Flex Fine, if you've watched my video, that one is a stunner of a pen. Um, I paired it with Pelican Appetite, um, and basically I, it's got 10, <laughs> 10 across the board. It's the feeling of that pen, it's like glassy smooth, um, but it, it doesn't slip on your hands. It's beautiful. Uh, it feels like an expensive pen and it looks beautiful. <laughs> um, the ink Pelican Edelstein, uh, Appetite is a beautiful turquoise, uh, with like, um, you know, just enough green in there to make it look absolutely stunning. Um, and it flowed really well. The Leonardo nib, uh, even though it's a flex fine, it's really it flows so well and juicy. The ink is also uh, very, I'm not sure if it's well lubricated, but it's, it flows really, you know, it's a wet flowing ink. So all in all, this was a superb combo. Loved writing with that. And then the next one is a Pilot Custom 823 with Ferris Wheel Prestige Umber. Uh, this, again, 10, 10 across the board, very comfortable. The color is gorgeous it's like a burnt brown and shades all the way to like a light amber it's just beautiful um so yeah i love that color and it flowed out of this pen amazingly let's see and then here's just an example of the writing with the brown ink Okay, and the last one was the Twisby Smoke Rose Gold. It was a stub nib, and I paired that with Ferris Wheel Press Tears of Sapphire. Um, so that, um, it flowed really well because it's a stub, and the comfort of the pen, again, it's a Twisby Eco. I find those very comfortable for me. Uh, but the color, I gave it an 8, just because it is a very high sheening ink, and it smears a, you know a great deal and I think most sheeny inks do that um, and so that's just a trait that I find that I don't quite like just I mean inks will smear but um, if they have high sheen they will smear more so um, yeah all right so that ends my uh, review of my pens back from January. I hope that that was useful and helpful for you guys to kind of get a general feel for how each of my pens wrote um, from my personal experience. Um, and, uh, you know, if you decide or you want to test out a pen what, you know, similar to the one of the ones I have, hopefully my experience will help you to determine um, how your experience might be as well. And just remember that uh, ink, pen, and personal, um, you know, writing style as well as paper, they all, um, you know, are factors into how, how well the experience is overall. So um, there's a lot of things to consider, but um, hopefully this helped you guys to get a general sense for each one of my pens. And um, so if you enjoyed this, uh, you know, review, uh, please leave a like uh, and also comment down below what your experiences are if you had a similar pen to me um, and subscribe uh, to my channel for more videos in the future if you have not already subscribed and also click the notification bell I don't usually say this but uh, if you click the notification bell you'll be notified of the videos that I post because I don't typically post my videos on a schedule as of recent because I've been sick and just, you know, my, uh, my main job 
um, you know, does require a lot of time for me. And so uh, sometimes I will go off the schedule. And if you uh, are somebody that does, you know, that loves having a schedule, you might not be able to, I, I can't promise <laughs> um, a very set schedule. Uh, but the notification bell will let you know when I have a video that's going to be uploaded or um, going to be uploaded soon. So again, thank you so much. I appreciate you all for uh, watching and listening to me, you know, just discuss about my pens. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, just leave a comment down below um, on what kind of pens you guys um, are using right now and how you like them. So until the next video, have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.